Good morning. Hopefully you guys can see me and hear me. Scooch that in a little bit. I've been having a lot of fun with technology this morning. So bear with me, but I think we've got it. Good morning. Let me know if you're here. Let me know if you can hear me, see me, etc. Facebook, let me know if I'm crooked again. <laughs> All right. It shows me that I'm not, but if for some reason I am crooked, please let me know if I'm sideways. Uh, we'll get started in just a few minutes. Mary, good morning. Am I good? Excellent. Good morning. Let me know who's here. Say hi. Lighting's actually like really weird in this room this time of day. The sun pours in and it ends up with this. I have to like close the blinds, otherwise, it's that huge sunspot. But then I'm trying to get the light to work. Anyway, this morning for Pilates. Good morning, Renee. Am I crooked? Good morning, my woman. Uh, let me know if I'm sideways or not. I'm going to be back here in this area. Let me know if you can see me. Uh, the camera has been giving me issues this morning. I think I set up my tripod just the way I like it. And then I think every day it gets moved. And when it gets moved, it doesn't stay or something. I'm crooked now. What the heck? Anyway. Hey, Nikki. Good morning. So I want to make sure you guys can see the mat because we're going to be on that mat a lot for Pilates today. We're going to be working on the principles of Pilates in the next few weeks through our series. So um, today we're going to work on the breath. You're all going to have to help me out. Am I straight yet? I get back there and I'm like, I am not straight. And you guys know I need symmetry in my life. Is that good? I have four daughters that you would think would help me with camera stuff, but no. First of all, three of them are sleeping. All right, we're going to get started in two minutes. Go grab your friends. Not sideways. Excellent. Just make sure you can see me. I'm going to be in this general area most of the time. So hopefully you can see me okay. YouTube, you can see me loud and clear. I know that. Facebook, let me know if you can see me loud and clear. So we are going to be spending some time on the floor, a lot of time on the floor. Actually, I'm moving you guys again. Can you tell? You're like, yes, leave the camera alone, Jay. Good morning. All right. So again, I'm going to just try to get this camera right where I want it because I've got that weird ray of light that's coming in. So today for Pilates, we are going to be slowing it down a little bit. Don't think for a second that's going to make it. Is that better? Morning, Ken. And Renee, angle better? Um, so we're going to slow it down a little bit for Pilates. We're going to get started in 60 seconds, not for a second. Does that make it easier to slow it down? If you've ever been in my class, you're, you are probably familiar with the fact that that's quite the opposite. Um, when I slow it down, it tends to get a little more complicated in the sense of you have to focus and really feel those muscles working. Um, we are going to focus on the first principle of Pilates today, the breath. So the mat work that we're going to do is going to be <clears throat> slow down so you can really feel the expansion of the ribs, the doming 
or anti-doming, the scooping of the abdominals, which does not mean to clench your middle like the Pillsbury Doughboy. Um, it does mean to really start to move through this syringe of the spine and the core. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start on the mat today, um, not in the push-up position. We're going to finish with that. Let's get started on the mat down here on the floor. And we are going to start right away with the 100. But don't worry. That doesn't mean we're going into the full thing. I'm going to make everything a little bit smaller, a little bit more zoned in today, shortening levers so you can really focus on what's happening from the bottom of your rib cage through the waist, front and back, circumference of, into the hips, okay? So that's your focus today. Where am I breathing? All right, so let's go ahead and set this timer. It reminds me to not teach for three hours straight because I love it. All right, so starting in a seated position, feet are sits bones width apart, just flat on the floor. So wherever that is, that you don't feel squished in the belly, and that your feet can be flat and relaxed. And then you can draw yourself up into a more upright spine. So maybe you need your hands on your knees and you gently pull to help find the top of your sits bones. Maybe you rock back and forth to find those sits bones and then settle in. Take a deep breath in, let it go. Just find yourself here on the mat. This is your space, your hour. Another deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Notice where your breath moves. Inhaling again, just notice where your breath goes. Does it go into the top of your chest? Does it go into the base of your ribs? And then exhale. From here, I want you to go ahead and start to tuck the tail under. As you do, draw your abdominals in gently towards your spine as if you were hugging your spine here. Then inhale, stack back up. Exhale, you're going to tuck the tail under. It's going to feel as if you're rolling onto the sacrum, which is that weird shaped bone under your gluteal crack, like you're trying to roll to the top of your waistband there on your back. So we're not gonna just clunk our waist down. We're gonna roll off our tush, roll back up. Now this time, take it a little bit deeper. Inhale, exhale, roll back. Inhale, stack all the way up. Feel the expansion of the ribs. Exhale, we tuck. See if you can go a little bit further. Inhale, roll up. Now, remember the feet can help. So we gently push the feet away as we exhale. They won't move on the mat. Inhale, pull the heels under, under, under. It helps facilitate that flexion and extension of the spine generating from that rudder of the hip, right? The tuck under, roll. Inhale, stack back up. That was just to get you warm because now we're going to go right to that hundred. Rolling down, hold. Keep this curve. Now, option here to bring your feet closer or to keep your feet further away or to float your feet up or to float your feet out. But no matter what you choose with your legs, I want you to keep flexed. Roll the shoulders down and back like you're hugging your shoulder blades towards your spine. Chin is gently knotted towards the chest, not the neck, but the chest as if you were holding an apple. Look between your knees. Take a deep breath in, begin to pump. Exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Please bring your legs down if it helps you focus on that breath flow between the ribs, the waist, and the hips. Make it smaller today. Find your breath, perfect your breath. Don't worry, we'll get into those longer levers in the next five sessions. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out, last round, breathe in, breathe out, float the hands up, float the head down, extend the legs long, flex the feet, take a deep breath in. On your exhale, imagine there is a wall here in front of your palms, press 
into that. Roll the head and shoulders up, flex. Inhale down. Now, if it's in your practice, if you've been doing Pilates for a while, and you can roll up beautifully for the full roll up, feel free to do that. If you're new to Pilates, and I know several of you are, we're not going to rush it and make it messy. The first round, the other day, we did. We just kind of like moved our body. Feel it out. Today, we're going to clean it up a little bit, starting with the first principle, the breath. Exhale, we roll up. Inhale, we roll down. Exhale, keeping that apple between your chin and your chest, or I like to say an orange. And as you roll up, don't squeeze the orange. And as you roll back, keep the orange. Don't let it fall because your chin rolls away. And then stack back. Bring your knees to a bent position. If the full roll up is already in your practice, go ahead and roll up for me. If it's not, let's go ahead and bend your knees. Take a deep breath in. On your exhale, press and grab the backs of those thighs. Good. Now, go ahead and pull your legs up and use those thighs to extend your arms. But your arms are going to fight back a little bit. You have a slight crook in the elbow. From here, roll up. Now you get to meet us at the top. We're gonna to work on the top of the roll down. Eventually in weeks to come, we're gonna connect the two. So those of you who cannot do a roll up yet, hopefully by the end of this, you will be able to. Flex the feet, only sits bones width apart. Heels right in line with the sits bones. Arms can reach forward. Now, just like we did at the beginning, tuck the tail, start to roll back. Now feel like your heels are reaching for the wall or the end of the mat and the abdominals are pulling away in dynamic opposition. Then stack back up. So stay in the frame of what you can control. We exhale, inhale, stack back up. Notice if your heels want to scooch with you, you'll start losing your pants. Some of you lose your pants in the roll up and that's why? Because you kind of chunk over the hips. So keep those heels stretching towards the wall. Feel the sits bones draw up and in. Feel the abdominals hug in this belt of the waist. And then stack back up. One more time. Down. Now this time I'd like you to try to control it. Take another deep breath in. Pause here. Exhale. Tighten that belt a little bit more. Roll to the waistband. Roll to the waist, hold the flexion of the upper spine. Inhale, exhale, roll it all the way down. Wasn't that lovely? Now we're gonna go into the roll over. Again, if it's already in your Pilates practice, then you already know that name. You already know what it means. And just go ahead and go for it for a few reps. Those of you who are like, I have no idea what that is. I'm gonna start you with the foundation, with the breath. Bring the right knee to tabletop position. On your next breath, as you exhale, tightening the belt of the waist, pull your other knee to tabletop position. Now, go ahead and get your tush out of your way. Flatten that spine. Squeeze the knees together. Squeezing the knees activates the inner thighs, which is going to help your lower abdominals. You're gonna need them on this one. Place your hands into the floor, a little bit wider than your hips, and peel your thumbs down into the floor. Really melt your shoulders open, so that your collarbone feels long and lovely. Take a deep breath in. Now here, notice if you're clenching or gripping anywhere. Settle your bones. Breathe in and breathe out. Now, scoop your tailbone up towards your pubic bone. You're gonna be flattening your back as you do that. Keep your rib cage down towards your spine. Deep breath in. On your next exhale, imagining a belt from the fronts of the hip bones up underneath the belly button. You're gonna tighten the belt and float the hips up. Inhale down. Now, exhale again. Move it with your breath. What I want you to avoid, keep going. Your inhale is relaxing the legs to tabletop. Your exhale is flexing the legs towards your chest. As if you were trying to touch your knees to your chest. But I'd like you to avoid what I see often in the gyms and on other YouTube videos. And that's what I call the fling a where we just start flinging the legs, flinging the legs. You might get them higher, but you're not doing a darn thing for your core. So go ahead and belt and tighten the belt. Inhale down. And then exhale, tighten the belt. Inhale down. 
So you should be rolling the hips with your breath. Exhale. Check back in with your thumbs, your collarbone, that your rib cage is down towards your core instead of flaring towards the ceiling. And use your breath. Exhale, tighten. Inhale. Exhale, tighten. One more time. And on your next exhale, bring your hands to the backs of your thighs again. Widen your knees to about six bones width apart. Tell your legs to stretch your arms. Now, when you're almost straight in the arms, keep a little crook in the elbows. Nod the chin towards the chest. Take a deep breath in because next up, we're going to roll. So start rocking if you're new to Pilates. The rocking chair, as I call it, is just for us ladies, bra line, the pants line. For you dudes, it's the wide part of the lats, the bottom of the rib cage, to the pants line. Now notice I'm keeping my back arched like an angry cat. The chin stays tucked towards the chest. We inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. If you can start to execute that, perhaps you take it more into the Pilates ball, bringing the knees in closer to the chest, bringing the legs together, hands to the shins, backs of the thighs or the feet. And then can you keep your head towards your knees as if you were holding a ball or a yoga block between your forehead and your knees. Inhale back, exhale up. Now again, if you tried that and it got messy, Come back to rocking chair. Make it a little bit more precise with the breath. Come to the top, hold. Good. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Slow roll back. Preparing for an exercise coming up in the next couple of things, but we're just going to roll back. Good. From here, bring the legs to float out. Flex the toes back towards the shins. Have your legs sit bones width apart. Everybody still good out there? All right, now bring the right knee up to tabletop position and make sure that the knee stays over the hip. We tend to want to pull that knee in all the way, more over the rib cage, over the hip. Now here again, make any adjustments that you need to. Okay, if you're an FBG like me, fat bottom girl, sometimes you gotta move some stuff. All right, now let's go ahead and take a nice deep breath in and out. And let's press those thumbs gently into the floor. Melt those shoulder blades down and back towards like you're hugging your shoulder blades under you. And then settle those ribs back down into their line. From here, we're gonna go into one leg circles. Again, if you are used to Pilates, you've been practicing for a while, you know that this can be a long leg. But if you're new to Pilates, and especially if you try to lengthen that leg and it doesn't go so straight, or you get a click, click, pop, 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 click, click, pop, pop. That's your body's way of saying time out, shorten the letter. From here, put your fingers on your hip bones, actually. Let's take them off the floor and onto the hip bones. As you breathe in, go ahead and take that top of the leg bone across the body. So now your knee should be hovering over that hip bone. And now as you continue to breathe in, in, swirl that leg around, feel it in the hip bone like a soup spoon scraping the bowl. And now as it comes to the outside of your body and comes back and around and in, exhale here, empty out the gut. Inhale, swirl over, down, exhale around and return. Inhale, swirl over, down, exhale, up and around. Good, swirl. Inhale, exhale. Now let's make it a little more dynamic. Inhale, exhale, hit. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Pump that diaphragm. One more time. Now slow motion for two, other direction. Take it out to the side, swirl it around to the midline, pull it through to the other side and up and over, swirl it out around to the midline, over and up. Now to tempo, inhale, swirl, exhale, hit. Inhale, swirl, exhale, inhale, inhale, inhale. Now I'm being really loud in my breathing, but in Pilates we encourage that too. 
float that leg down, pull the other leg up to meet, or I'm sorry, to replace the other leg. Getting a Facebook notification, coming to see you. Good morning. All right, so from here, other side. Straightening now your right leg, flex those toes back, keep them flexed back, it keeps that leg nice and strong. It helps you engage the sits bone of that support hip to kind of pulling up on that cheek a little bit. And now we swirl over the body, down towards the midline, out around to the side, center. Swirl it slow, inhale, exhale, as you bring it up. Inhale, exhale, bring it up. Settle back in with your ribs, hands on the pit bones, and now to tempo. You swirl it in, out as you come up. Jamie, what does that mean? The breath. Swirl on the inhale, exhale, return center. Swirl on the inhale, exhale, return center. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more. Let's switch sides. Notice any subtle shifting in your body. Try to have the core stabilize the shifting so that you're still from the hip to the shoulders. Only this leg bone is moving, the thigh bone. Taking it in the other direction, swirl to the outside first. Notice that the support hip wants to lift, keep it down. Pull around towards the midline, that inner thigh should be on, over the body and up. Swirl it out, down, over and up. So you're now going counterclockwise. I think about that for a second. Now to tempo, inhale, down, around, exhale, up, inhale, down, around, exhale. Can you still control your core? Can you control the wobble? If my cup were on your belly button, would it be sloshing around? Keep it still. That will get bigger in the future, okay? Now, from here, take the legs out. Good. Take a deep breath in. Maybe you bend your knees here if you're new to Pilates because we're going to roll up. If the long-legged roll up is in your practice, go for it. If it's not, you're going to press into the hands heavy. Find the thighs, perhaps. Walk your feet out. Nod your chin. Deep breath in. On your exhale, draw in the belt of the waist. <sighs> Pull yourself up. Now from here, we're going to have a little bit of fun. This is usually like wide-legged rocker. If wide-legged rocker is in your practice, go for it. That will be where we all teeter up. So let's start here together, actually. So lift your hands. If you can only go chest height because of any shoulder issues, that's fine. Be there. And then I want you to come onto the tippy toes. And now notice where you are in your sits bones. So if you draw your abdominals in, like you're trying to take your chest to your knees, there's a little bit of flexion, right? But now what if I ask you to flex your hips back? So now you've rolled off of your sits bones. Maybe you're there on your tailbone or right above your tailbone. Draw the core in. Now bring the feet up. Exhale. Now this is a great place for beginners to be. If you're like, oh gosh, I'm getting a lot of pinching in my hip flexors, check back in with the belt of the waist. So breathe in deeply into the rib cage. Exhale, pull in the belt. Inhale, breathe in, release the pressure. Exhale, pull it in. All right? Now, if... This is where you are, stay there for a few more reps. Because then we can also come to ankles behind. Again, don't force it. If you're new to Pilates, stay where I just had you. Just stay there, it'll strengthen you. If you can hold onto your ankles, or maybe you wanna hold onto your ankles and see if you can just balance. That's the next step that's great to practice. If wide-legged rocker is in your practice, you extend the legs. Then you will roll back, tucking tailbone to waistband, Roll only to the shoulders, keep your chin tucked towards your chest at all times, and then you're going to roll back up and lift the heart at the top. Like you're trying to take your chest to your knees. It'll look like this. You roll it back, roll it up, hit it. All right? If that's in your practice, go for it for a few more rounds. If it's not, be here. All right? So you can be here, you can be balancing or you can just be lifting. And I'm gonna have everybody join me for four breaths. So one, inhale, exhale. Two, inhale, exhale. Wherever stage you're at, be there. 
Three, inhale, exhale. And one more, inhale, exhale. Good, settle the legs down, roll yourself back. All the way, one vertebrae at a time. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. We're gonna sneak in an extra abdominal prep here. Taking the hands, facing them towards the short end of your mat, press them to the palms. Take a deep breath in, exhale, curl all the way up with control. From here, take the feet as wide as the mat. Sit back, situate yourself, get your sits bones connected to the floor, and now sit tall. Try to stack hips and ribs and ears. From here, you may need to bend your knees, and if, if so, put those heels in, lift the toes up. Also helpful here, if you're really tight to the low back and hamstrings, is roll up that mat and sit on it. Sometimes you can get your legs a little straighter just by elevating the sits bones slightly above the heel line. Or you can use a yoga block, a big towel, a bolster. So don't hesitate to use whatever you need to lift your hips a little bit for this part. Now, sitting up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Now I want you to imagine there is an arch here, okay? And from here, as you inhale, you sit tall, really fill the back. As you exhale, draw the abdominals up, hugging the spine. As you flex, now notice my hips are staying back. I'm not collapsing forward. The hips stay back. My chest rolls up and over. Keep your hands high, just to remind yourself for a moment to stay high for this one. Just for a second. Inhale, stack back up. Can you grow a little taller? Exhale, engaging. The more your chest tries to draw open over towards your toes, the more the abdominals are drawing up and away from the thighs. The head stays right there between your elbows at the bottom, and then inhale, stack back up. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll over the spine. Abdominals are pulling away from the legs. Inhale, stack back up. Two more times. Exhale, we tuck and we roll. Inhale, stacking back up. Flex those feet back. Exhale, tuck the chin, roll. Inhale, stacking back up. Good. Bring the feet together. Bring the elbows or to a bent position, hands behind the head. Sit up nice and tall. Bring the feet together, thighs together, clench your tush a little bit, and really press those big toes together as well, like you're trying to pull a dollar bill there between the feet. And now, exhale, twist. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Notice as you twist if your feet are shifting. If they are, the shift is coming more in the hips, the hips are trying to cheat, and it's taking the fun away from the waist. Inhale here, exhale. Think spiraling up and around, like that red stripe around the barber's pole. So we're not collapsing or shrinking. We are lifting up and over. Two, three. Inhale, center. Exhale. Inhale. Now, if you're like, Jamie, these straight legs are killing me, dude. All right, pull them in. Sit tall and continue your twist. I'm fine with it. Inhale, center, exhale. Inhale, center, because what I want you to focus on today, again, is that space from the rib cage to the waist through to the hip. Inhale, center, feel it expand into the back. Now exhale, feel that rib draw up and over and towards the hip. Inhale, up, exhale, we up, over, twist, ring out the waist, come back through center, and exhale up over twist. Back through to center. Easy peasy, right? Bring those feet back up. And now we're gonna go into a little bit of saw action. So flex the feet back. The feet are as wide as the mat. You're going to bring your hands together first because I want you to again, focusing on the breath today, bringing the hands together, take both of those hands beyond the pinky edge of your left foot. Okay, so twist towards the left foot. Now, slice your left hand back. Take a deep breath in. So there's pinky up here, thumb up here. 
Take a deep breath in, sit tall, perch the tush, stiffen the legs. Now exhale, draw the abdominals up and away to fold you. You're gonna saw the pinky toe of your left foot. Now inhale, come to center, touch those hands together. On your exhale, twist, right? And you're gonna take that hand away. Deep breath in here. Now exhale, tuck the chin, draw the abdominals up and away from the thighs, saw the right pinky. Inhale up, connect the hands. Exhale, twist. Saw the hand away, inhaling. Exhale, take the abdominals up and away to fold the body. Saw that left pinky. Inhale, center. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hand prepares. Exhale, tuck the chin, fold over the body and saw the right pinky. Inhale, up. Exhale, twist. Inhale, hand swishes back. Exhale, we saw the pinky toe. Inhale, up center. Last time, twist, exhale. Inhale, slice the hand back. Exhale, tuck the chin, slice the pinky edge. Inhale, up, beautiful. Now we're gonna make our way onto our belly, but let's try to do it gracefully. Bring the feet together. Good, point the toes, keep the hands together, squeeze those thighs together, deep breath in, tuck the abdominals, roll, roll, roll. You made it to the floor, you're gonna flip to your belly. All right, you guys feeling okay? How you doing up there? <clears throat> so, we're gonna go into a little bit of swan dive or swan prep. Um, we're not diving today, we're gonna to focus on the breath once again. So coming all the way down to the floor from sternum through to the pubic bone, make yourself centered. Go ahead and bring your feet out wide today, as wide as the mat is spine. Press all 10 toes towards the floor, top to the feet into the floor. Stiffen the legs, roll the pubic bone down towards the floor. Not because you're clenching your butt, but because you're drawing in the deep core muscles of the belt. As if the floor were cold, you're gonna notice your pubic bone tucks under naturally. Hands are gonna be here right around the shoulder line. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Check back in with all those points. Feet, stiff legs, pubic bone rolled under, abdominals engaged. On your next inhale, lengthen up out of that waistband, up through the spine. Exhale. Roll the ribs back in towards the core. Unclench any gluteal tissues. Keep the belt of the waist on. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, lower back down. Inhale, rise up. Now, if swan is in your practice, go for it. If you're like, I'm not sure, you can stay right here, especially if you feel any clicking, popping, or tension in your low back. As you press up, it's not a pressing back into, scrunching into the spine. Think almost like you're trying to pull the floor under you and grow taller out of your spine. And then exhale, come back down. And again, check back in with those toes, legs are tight. And if you can start to get up to that spot where you can fully extend your arms without crunching the low back because you're growing taller and that tailbone is still pulling down towards the floor, not up, then maybe you add in a little bit of a dive prep. It'll look like this. I'm going to take my hands away. Now you're going to kiss the floor. So don't smack the floor <laughs> and notice my feet because my legs are staying stiff. When I take my arms away, my feet naturally fly. Okay. So have a little fun with that. If it pinches the low back, come back to the prep work. Okay, don't stress the body. Don't cuss me later. Pilates is meant to heal you to make you feel better, not worse. Beautiful. So now from here, everybody rise up and come to the elbows. Have your elbows directly underneath of you. Clasp your hands. Good. From here, imagine your shoulder blades are Drawing down, you're gonna push the floor away. Notice your rib cage if it's slunky. Gently draw the rib cage up. Notice how when you draw the rib cage gently up, you solidify the muscles of your back. You can pull the pubic bone slightly down because you're engaging your core 
you're not clenching your cheeks. Bring your feet more into the line of the sits bones, not as wide as the mat, but a little more narrow. From here, you're looking forward. So watch me do it, but then after you've got the idea of it, I want you to look forward beyond the edge of your mat, not up. Chin stays neutral. You're going to take your right leg, bend at the knee so the heel comes towards your behind. Foot is naturally pointed at first because that's where it is anyway. And then before you put that foot back down, I want you to flex the foot, that means toes to shin, and pump. Then set it back down, just put the foot natural. Then we do the left side, pull it up, flex and pump, set it back down. Now the right side again, pull it up, flex and pump, set it back down, left. Pull, flex, pump, set, right. Pull, flex, pump, set, left. Pull, flex, pump, set, right. Look forward, left. Pull, flex, set. Pull, flex, set. Alternating left. Pull, flex, set. Pull, flex, set. Keep it simple. Pull, flex, set. We don't only make you stronger in Pilates, we make you smarter. We keep that brain active, quickly firing. Pull, flex, set. Keep going. Pull, flex, set. Pull, flex, set. One more round each side. Right side now. Pull, flex, set. You're done. <laughs> now, come on back down. You're like, thank God. Take your hands behind your back. Yes, like you're going to get arrested. All right, so, and you're just gonna hold on. Some people like to hold on to their wrist, either side. Some people like to um, kind of clasp their hands together, whatever works for you, okay? I like to clasp my hands because at the top of it, ideally we wanna stretch the arms. But if that's not in your practice today, that's okay. You can just hold on and think about pressing the um, fist into the back to help lift the chest and open the arms so you get those wings, okay? Perfectly fine place to be. Please do that if this is like, what in the ham sandwich is happening, okay? Now, when we are here, long, and we start to lift the chest, pubic bone is rolled down, lift the feet, okay? We're here. So maybe this is where you are at the top. And then as you come down, you're gonna set one cheek on the floor, and you're going to pump the legs in. One, two, three, heels to bottom. Then we're gonna extend the body again, legs, Swim out, chest lifts up. We press the hands into the back if that's where we are. Open the heart. Then as we exhale, set the other cheek down, pump the legs in. One, two, three. Inhale, lift. Exhale. One, two, three. Switch your cheek. Then you come down. Inhale up. Exhale, switch. Pull. Two, three. Little hamstring flexion there at the bottom. One, two, three. Now, if you have the long arms, you take them up, you fly. And you come down and you bend the arms. So everything extends, everything bends. Where do you breathe? You inhale up, exhale fold. Inhale up, exhale, bring it in. Inhale up, exhale, bring it in. Last time, inhale up, exhale, bring it in. Relax, set it down. Good. Excellent. So go ahead, bring your hands back to the floor and you're going to actually bring one arm up and around. I don't care which one, whatever one has you facing me. I'll talk to your top leg and your bottom leg. Okay. All right. So you're here on your side. You can set yourself up here for a moment and then I'll have you put your head down. We're going to focus on the breath for some side kicks. I'm going to move forward because I have like nightmares of kicking that screen and it crashing in the middle of a live video. Anyway, <laughs> so square up the body. Remember you're your own ruler. So as you put your arm straight down your side, that elbow should be right here at the hips and you should feel like you're in a long straight line. Now, if you have scoliosis, lower back issues, disc issues, by all means, please bring your feet more toward the top front corner of your mat. It requires less balance and also helps your back stay in the position it's probably most accustomed to right now. Now from here, lift the top foot up. And we're gonna focus on what's happening from rib cage to hip bone. So sometimes for my beginners, I like to tell you, put your thumb on your rib cage and put your pinky on your hip bone and kind of spread your hands. 
You're doing a Michael Jackson move or something. Okay, sorry, bad joke. Now, flex the foot. And it doesn't have to be higher than the hip. All right, my hips aren't that big yet. So let's pull that to right about there in that line, okay? And now I'm going to inhale, prepare. And on my exhale, this space, this hand, the thumb and the pinky are gonna come closer to each other as I pull that leg forward. And then inhale, I'm gonna take that leg back. Now I'm not gonna rock forward, I'm gonna stay light. So this hand acts like a barrier, a reminder, a wall. Exhale, pull, inhale back. Exhale, pull, inhale back. Now you can put that hand there for balance if it helps. However, if it helps you slump forward and super arch back, remember we're not at a 1980s concert. There's no snaking the body or head banging. I want you to use that space. If you can imagine your hand is still there, can I shrink the core and lengthen the core? Can I contract and expand? Exhale, contract, inhale, expand. Three more, exhale, contract, inhale, expand. Two more, exhale, contract. So I told you slower is not always easier. You have to really think about it, right? Good. Go ahead and set it down. Bend the knees slightly. Let the feet come back, but the knees are slightly forward of the belly button, okay? From here, go ahead and put your hand into the earth. Press yourself up to come onto the pedestal of your arm. Good. Now here, take your feet out a little bit. You should be able to, like, see them. If I were looking at you, I would have the hand slightly in front of the shoulder. Ribs are going to be up, not slumpy. All right? Knees are in front, heels are in line, really with my sits bones. And I'm gonna place the top leg foot in front of the bottom leg foot and cross those ankles, okay? So you're kind of squeezing something in there. Take a deep breath in and make sure that hand's not too far out. Like it's just a smidgen in front of that shoulder line. Like you're making a beautiful triangle here under the bottom body. On your breath, breathing in, I want you to send your shoulders up you're going to press into the floor, press into the feet, and find maybe just side plank. If you're used to Pilates, maybe you go into the full side bend because it feels good. Float all the way back down to the floor and breathe. Inhale and exhale. And inhale and exhale. If you're like, okay, Jamie, I can't even get up there, bring this bottom knee in a little bit closer to you, more in line with your hips and your belly button. As you press up, Use the knee as a pedestal. For some of you, that is where you're going to be today. I want you to focus on can I breathe more than can I execute a bigger angle, but I'm holding my breath. I'm causing tension and pain. Those are not our goals today or any day in Pilates. And again, and down. And one more time, lift. Maybe you're here. And then you're going to float all the way back down. Bring it around. Switching sides to the other side. Everybody feeling good? We still got so much time left. I love it. What can I do? Mm -hmm. All right, so bringing those legs long. And we're gonna come down to our side for this first one. You can pedestal your head here. Try not to twist it or yank it around. Like try to set the ear right in the crook of the hand. Right, so you kind of line up your nose as much as possible with your sternum. You're not weird. And now line up the body. Bring your feet to the top front corner of the mat if you have scoliosis or lower disc issues. Try to keep that posture of the spine. So the back of the head, ears lined over shoulders, ribs, hips. That's all one line. And then from here, again, bring that wide hand, pinky to the hip bone, thumb to the rib cage, Find that space, find that core that we're trying to engage. Lift the top foot up, flex it. Good, now keep that bottom leg straight or at least like pressing into the floor and engage your bottom waist a little bit so that you're not just, again, slumping into the floor. So it's a total body workout. Exhale, we pull forward. Inhale, we swing it back. Now when we swing it back, we're not swinging the ribs forward or the hips forward. We are keeping that pubic bone in the same line from the belly button at all times. It comes from the tush to bring that leg back. It comes from the core to bring it forward. It comes from the tush to pull it back. But the pubic bone and belly button line 
should stay the same. What you're feeling engaged is here at that waistband, creating that tight waist, pulling those muscles in. Hand here for balance. It is to assist you in keeping your body straight, isolating that leg in the core. Inhale back, exhale pull. Inhale back, exhale pull. Inhale back, last one. Inhale back, good. Now from here, settle the leg down, bend the knees slightly, and you're gonna use this hand to pull yourself up Find the pedestal of your arm. We're aiming for that triangle once more, so not super far out here in front. Slightly in front, pull the rib cage up and in, pull this section here. And what you're going to do is extend those legs slightly. Top foot comes in front of the bottom foot, and then squeeze those ankles slightly together. So, like my heel usually touches my ankle. From here, you want to think about breathing in and getting tall. So we're going to press the floor away, press into those legs, make those legs long, and maybe you come up to full side bend. If you're like, mm, maybe not all of that. Maybe you can just get to plank, right? So that nice triangle, not a rainbow bend of the body, but just that straight edges. If you're still struggling, that bottom knee can come in a smidge more and you press and pull. Okay, so find the place where you can inhale. Maybe that allows you to get into a side bend. Maybe that's what your body needs today is to really open up this intercostals and the rib cage. Maybe the knee helps you find that. For some of you, maybe you need to find that hip and inner thigh strength more. So you stay more with that plank and a little less of the rib. It's your practice, you choose. Freedom of expression here, folks. You are gonna give me two more though. Breathing in, up and over. Exhale, coming down. One more time, inhale, up and over. Exhale, pulling down. Wonderful job. Go ahead, spiral back around to your mat seated. Now there's an exercise in mat called neck pull. I personally hate it. Quite honestly, I'm not supposed to do it because of my cervical spine surgery and my herniations in my cervical spine. Um, but I have learned that it does have some really good components that I can still access. Um, and it also allows me to teach people who can do neck pull how to do it safely. So we're actually going to start at the top of it. Place your hands behind your head. And what you're going to imagine is bring your shoulder blades towards your spine, but then keeping the rib cage engaged towards the core. So we're not flaring up or back bending. And then sit nice and tall, perch your tush. And let's bring those feet together. Squeeze through the inner thighs, squeeze through the legs. Keep the shoulders out of the ears. Ribs are in, deep breath in, deep breath out. Now that you found home base, on your next breath in, you're going to kind of sit back. For us ladies, it's gonna be like we're trying to push something right above our bra line, but now we're not arching back, we are lengthening back and then exhale come back up now another place i want you to focus on is as you keep that spine straight like you have a broomstick for a back you're going to feel the ribs pull away from the hips lengthening as you exhale feel those bungees pull back in bringing you back over a stacked body now for some of you maybe you'll feel better if you have your hands down or even crossed over your chest However, in doing that, sometimes our head starts to feel a little heavy, the neck reacts, we lose it. So that's why I like the hands behind the head. It is neck pull after all. And here I kind of pull up on my head a little bit, like I'm trying to lengthen my head out of my neck and then stack back up. Breathe in, create an airbag for the spine. Exhale, breathe out, come stacking. Inhale, and I'm pretty sure I'm cheating, I'm not watching myself. So when you stack back up, try not to fling all the way forward yet. Inhale and exhale. Good, now inhale back, exhale, come up and yes, over. Inhale, stack and reach back. Exhale, come up, and flex over. Inhale, stack the spine, reach back. Exhale, abdominals must pull up and away. It's like you're lengthening your spine. 
One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Up and over. And stack. Great. Now, this is where your kids want to join in. It's a great time because we're going to play around with seal a little bit. <laughs> it's part of the mat work and it's fun. So go ahead and come into this shape here. Now my knees are wide, okay? And I'm gonna take my arms underneath. Let me turn a little bit sideways so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you're here. You're gonna hold your thighs. Now, I'm teaching this in beginner steps. If you know seal and it's perfection and you're a pro, knock yourself out, give yourself 15 rounds. But if you're like, I have no idea what seal is, hang with me. So right now I'm slumped over a little bit. I'm kind of pulling and I'm curling around at my back, but I need to come back off my sits bones. And so here's maybe where you are. Okay. Here's maybe where you are. But then we're going to get into another shape. Okay. So everybody, let's go ahead and bring your arms in this way and see if you can get your arm around your leg. Can you pull it up? An arm around your leg, pull it up. Now, again, if you're like, I cannot get that twist, and you're here and you're just focusing on, can I feel my abdominals engage to stop me from rolling back? Can I come forward, stretch my spine? Can I engage the abdominals, stretch the spine, engage the abdominals? Perfect. Otherwise, bring those legs up to balance. And maybe you're just here. I don't know. I can't see you. But I'm pulling my heels towards me. And then some of you who are very flexible will want to take those knees out. The knees are squeezing the shoulders and the triceps. And the arms are kind of pushing back. So you have dynamic opposition. You tuck your head. You draw your abdominals up and in. You should be able to see them. Like you're looking for a hole in your pants. All right? And maybe this is where you are today. And can you clap your feet? When you clap your feet, you don't get loosey-goosey with your legs. It's almost like a thigh master, like I'm... Squeezing the knees, squeezing the knees, squeezing the knees, okay? Now you're like, what in the heck is going on? It's called seal. Joseph Pilates was a circus performer at one point in his life, so he liked watching animals. But it's rolling. So you can come into arms out, do your tuck and roll, or you can join me for seal here. Now as we roll back, we want to keep pulling those feet towards us. You'll roll back on your inhale, clap, clap. Exhale, come up, clap, clap. Inhale, roll back, clap, clap. Exhale, roll up, clap. This is really hard to do while talking, by the way. <laughs> inhale back, exhale up. Inhale back, exhale up. If you're like, I am rolling all over the place, that's okay, have fun with it. How do you think kids learn to like crawl and walk? It's still great core work. <laughs> I can't talk and do this at the same time. Now, let the feet down. Shake it up. You made it. All right, cool. We're going to make our way around to hands and knees. <clears throat> make sure I keep you guys on time. So hands are directly under the shoulders. Spread those palms. Spread those fingers. Make yourself a great big froggy hand, right? A little bit of suction up through the palms as you press into the finger pads. Let's take, once the shoulders are squared over hands, take the right foot out. Take a deep breath in. Into that back. Remember, it's all about the breath today. Exhale. Bring the other foot to meet it. Great. Now, tuck your right toes under. So, like a pointed foot. On your inhale, Prepare on your exhale, pull up into the glute a little bit, lift that foot. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Two more. Last one. Set the toes. Come to the knees, push back for a moment. Let the shoulders relax, shake the hands out. We're going to do that again on the other side. Eventually we'll get to no breaks in that. So take a deep breath in, coming up, it was my knee, great. Spread those hands, cup through the suction cup of the palm, press into the fingertips. This time as you breathe in, prepare and then take the foot out. Take the left foot out first. Inhale, exhale, take the right foot to meet it. 
Good. This time, tuck the left toes under. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, pull that leg up. Inhale, down. Exhale, pull. Make sure it's from the glute, not from you bending your knee. Legs stay straight. There's no knee joint. Two more. Last one. Set the knee down. Bring the other to meet it. Go ahead and find rest or shell or child's. And then just take a moment to breathe into the back and breathe out. We're going to pull ourselves around back to our tush. Have the fingertips fanning out to the sides, east and west. Good. From here, take the legs long. Point the toes. And I want you to think, roll the shoulders down and back, lift the heart, pull the shoulder blades towards the spine. Keep that. Don't let it move. Legs are tight. Deep breath in, deep breath out. On your next breath in, you're going to lift your hips up, creating an airbag of breath around that spine as you exhale, sink to the earth. When I say sink, the legs stay straight, the arms stay straight, the chest stays high and proud. It is just the hips flexing to create that shape. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift. Chin stays towards the chest. You're looking down the inseam of your body. You're not looking up. One more time. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Great job. Shake the water off your arms. I know that's like, whoo, for some of you. Feeling okay? <clears throat> we have just enough time for two more things. So come up to kneeling. So when I say kneeling, put that knee under your hip. Make this leg long. This hand is in line with this knee. And I'm going to square up my chest. So both sides of the chest facing forward. I'm pulling up through those abdominals. Hand can go high, but I would love if you just kept it here today, right here on the hip. Lift that foot slightly, not big today, because I want you to focus on the breath. The exhale pulls this forward. The inhale pulls it back. Exhale, make this smaller and pull it back, but not because the pubic bone is coming in and you're rounding your back, because you're cinching the waist muscles. Inhale, take it back, use the glutes. Cinch the waist muscles, use the glutes. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more, exhale, inhale. Bring that knee down, take the body weight up and over, settle into the other side, <clears throat> hand to the hip. Bring that leg up slightly. We're focusing on the breath, not the size. Take a deep breath in, exhale, cinch the waist. Inhale, use the glutes. Exhale, cinch the waist. Inhale, glutes. Pubic bone and belly button lines stay steady. We're not shrinking the zipper here. We are cinching the waist. Two more. Exhale forward. Inhale back. You're doing great. One more. At least I'm assuming you were doing great. You're not just sitting there watching and drinking your coffee because if so, shame on you. Put that foot down. I don't shame much, but I'll just watch. Drink your coffee. Get on the floor and move. So let's put those hands to the floor. Let's take that other foot out to meet. So we're in a high plank again. Send the hips up and back. Walk your hands back to your feet. Inhale, rise all the way up. Arms overhead. Exhale, roll. As you tuck your head under, looking at your hands, watch your hands walk out the length of the mat. Back to your high plank. Now here, if you can do a full Pilates push-up, elbows come close to you, do so. Otherwise, drop to your knees. Let the elbows come back, scraping past the rib cage. press. Scrape the elbows past the rib cage. press. You really have to trust your heart to go forward and back. Lift off the knees if you're there. Walk your hands back to your feet. Take a deep breath in. Come all the way up. Lift the hands. Exhale, tuck the head, keep the head right between the biceps as you pour yourself back towards the floor. 
hands connect. You can bend your knees if you need to, to walk yourself out, find high plank. Stay there in high plank or lower to the knees if necessary. Deep breath in, hands are spread. Come down, exhale, push the floor away. Now, if you can only come so far before your elbows start to wing out to the sides, that's fine. I want you to stop right there. And then after you've done that third push up, come off the knees or maybe you stay on the knees and push yourself back and then push yourself to standing. Be where your body is. Inhale, everybody rise all the way up. Last one here. Exhale, tuck, roll down, look under, look at your hands, watch them walk forward, find your high plank or your knees, your um, modified plank. Take a deep breath in as you lower your heart down between the arms, push away. Fingers are spread, create those frog hands, press away. One more time, inhale, elbows scrape back, exhale, push. And now either stand and walk back or stay on your knees and walk your hands back. Inhale, rise all the way up. Exhale, fold all the way down. Walk yourself out halfway only. Come to your knees, come to your bottom, and you are all done. So take this time to maybe do Shavasana, even though we're doing yoga, um, we're doing Pilates, not yoga. It's perfectly acceptable to allow your body to take a rest, to seal your practice. That's okay. And then, sorry, I'm like unraveling here right now. <laughs> here. I'm just going to chop it all off. Um, so take some time and rest if you need it. Um, you can ask questions. If you have questions about Pilates, it's super technical in many ways, but I'm not going to be like a Pilates militant or snob about things. Uh, I teach contemporary styles, so I teach uh, in the place where your body is. So if you have questions about Pilates, please type them. Um, or if there was a particular exercise you have questions about in today's video, please ask and I will be sure to answer it. Maybe other people have the same question and I can cover it in the next video. So any feedback is appreciated. I'm used to teaching just straight up videos without somebody watching live or teaching in front of their face. So this is kind of new to me to be teaching semi-live. Can't see you. So let me know if you have any questions at all. Um, I will see you tomorrow at 8.30 for bar which is welcome to the dudes as well, but you have to have your leg warmers on. Okay. Wear whatever you want, but uh, do meet me for bar tomorrow. You're going to need a chair or a kitchen counter or a table, like something that you can hold onto that's sturdy. I'll be right here with my chair. Lord knows how I'm setting up that camera, but we're gonna figure it out. And Saturday morning is 9.45, and that's going to be yoga. And we're doing part one of two of the sacred sacrum. So if you've ever had SI joint dysfunction, um, hip issues, um, little pain in your lower back, then you're going to love Saturday's practice. So that's part one of two of the sacred sacrum. So everybody have a beautiful day. See you tomorrow. Leg warmers, 80s music. How are we doing Facebook?